Hello and good afternoon and welcome to the people's third stimulus check and stimulus package as of September, sorry, March 6th, 2021. I am sorry, I'm not the, trying to do any time traveling on you guys because that wouldn't be right. Well, to start off with today, I have a short clip of President Biden with a statement about the $1,400 stimulus checks. So I'll be right back. This plan will get checks out the door starting this month to the American people who so desperately need the help. Over 85 percent of American households will get direct payments of $1,400 per person. For a typical middle-class family of four, husband and wife working, making $100,000 a year total with three kids, they'll get $5,600. I mean, with two kids, we'll get $5,600 and will be on the way soon. And to add to this, the Senate voted very late last night on the COVID relief bill. The vote passed with a vote of 50 to 49. Uh, one of the senators was, Republican senators was actually out with a family emergency. That's why there's only 49 Republicans voting against it. So I guess that one Senate Republican that was willing to vote for our, the Simmons package decided not to. But that's, that's a different story. So basically, all the Democrats and only 49 of the Republicans voted for this bill, which is, I guess it's okay. But um, as we expected in the um, reconciliation process, the um, there were some obstacles. So let's get into those obstacles. This past Thursday, Vice President Kamala Harris passed the, breaking, the tie-breaking vote for the Senate to have consideration of you know, taking care, you know, taking care of the relief package. So I guess they have to vote on whether they're going to vote on the stimulus package, which doesn't really make any sense, but it's a Senate for you. They like to like draw everything out and waste our money like they usually do. Um, so basically, but, but, but most, most of this was delayed because the Senate, Ron Johnson made a Senate, made the Senate clerk read out the entire 628 page America's Relief Plan, aka the Code Relief Bill, provide, uh, presented by Biden. So that ate up a lot of time. Could you imagine reading out loud 628 pages of text in the Code Relief Bill to all the senators just because of Sen Senator Ron Johnson wanted to get revenge on the Democrats as well as the people? That's right. By him making them do this. He wasn't just paying back the Democrats. He was paying back all the people out there that are actually starving and going hungry and going homeless and need this money to survive. So Ron Johnson, thank you so much for being a big douchebag. Um, so the Senate didn't get to the um, debates or offer any amendments till Friday's session, which was yesterday. They didn't give any, any amendments or suggestions till yesterday. There were nearly 40 amendments proposed on both sides of on Friday night and into the morning this morning. Um, I will get in, I will cover some of these, but the most dramatic point of the negotiations came over la the last minute changes to the federal unemployment benefits. As you notice, the Republicans are always giving us crap about the federal unemployment uh, benefits. So if you remember, the House bill gave $400 per week extra in PUA to August 2021. Well, Senate Democrats made a deal that cut the, those benefits to $300 per week, but they uh, basically decided to make the first $10,200 that you made in unemployment in 2020 tax-free. It would also be extended the benefits until September instead of going out in August. There were thoughts that Joe Manchin would basically pull his support because of the tax-free unemployment assistance. So there was another proposal that came from Ron Portman, but with this proposal, there would be taxes on unemployment and it would be cut off in July. Yeah, that's right. He, so basically, Ron Portman wants to cut off the unemployment in July. Democrats are saying September. Republicans are saying August. But... The good thing is, is it's not getting cut off till September. And let's see, I just lost my place. Sorry about that. 
and you cut off in July. But Democrats cut a different deal to get Joe Manchin on with their package, their proposal, basically. And that was $300 per week and the unemployment ending on September 6th of this year. So basically, you'll get your last unemployment check on September 6th of this year, which I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not, but hey, it helps you out the best it can, except for those who don't actually qualify for unemployment because of one reason or another, then it doesn't help that at all. So these Republicans and Democrats need to get off their ass and realize that there's a lot of people out there that can't get unemployment and they need assistance and more than just a one-time payment yet again. See what our politicians are doing to us. They are really hurting us. They're not realizing that there's people out there that are starving that can't get unemployment benefits that could use a recurring monthly check. Well, that's besides the point. <clears throat> An additional amendment extended the federal leave in the federal for federal contractors through the end of September. So basically, there were a lot of proposals, but only a few made it in. So basically, they ended up voting on the exact same bill that they received, which is so funny, I think. They couldn't really make up any mind on this whole thing. So instead of, you know, adding anything new to it, really, they just voted on the same bill that they got to start off with, which was a, which was a big waste of time. So basically, uh, they just wanted to waste our money and our time. And they didn't get this bill passed until 4 a.m. this morning. Senators who were arguing on the floor until that long, and they still passed the bill. Now it, the bill has to go to the House to get voted on yet again before it goes to President Biden's desk for him to sign it into law. But everything is actually looking up because the biggest hurdles, which were the Senate, is now past us, and now it's on to the House. So hopefully the House doesn't propose any new amendments to make it go back to the Senate just to draw this whole thing out all over again because that would be a waste of time. So basically, I am hoping that everything turns out wonderfully. The House, they're not expected to vote on this bill until Monday of next, not Monday, but Tuesday of next week. They're going to look at it on Monday and, and then make a decision about voting it on Tuesday. So hopefully everything goes through and we'll get this bill passed, hopefully, very pretty fast because I know the, the federal unemployment benefits are expiring at the middle of this month and that's going to hurt a lot, a lot of people. So we need to get this pill passed as soon as possible. So, but until next time, this is actually all I currently have for you. So you guys have a wonderful, wonderful evening. And I will broadcast again to you when I have more relevant information for your ears to hear. Until next time, you have a wonderful evening. Bye. My mother told me someday I would buy gummies with good oars and sails to distant shores. Stand up high in the prayer